So here's my afterburner in the arcade here. And I have a couple videos on here. Uh, we were we fixed the uh, the missing red color on here. We have this set to free play, but free play doesn't work. I changed the button. Here was the old button in here. It actually would stick. So I got a new old stock here. This is about almost thirty dollars just for this button because there's a light in there. Whenever you'd coin up. We have to coin up the old one here with the switch. And then, now this button lights up. This button didn't do that. So the free play is not working on here. So there is a solution for the free play, and that is somebody has made a ROM hack to do this. So we got to get back in here. And we got to remove these boards. Got to remove the boards, which is a complete pain in the butt. I did another video where I was working on these boards, and I had to break open the cage here. Uh, it's a pain, but let's go ahead and do it and get the boards out and replace some ROMs. Here's part of the pain with this board set is got to remove this cage. We got to take some screws out, and then the back will come off here. So. That's the next step. So here is the afterburner uh, board. And what we need to do is re replace uh, to the ROMs. There's a bunch of ROMs over here. And, but we need to replace the uh, 07 and 08, which is actually, let's see if I can zoom in up here, these two. So we got to lift those out and replace them. With these two, I just got. So, I got these off. I got these from Hobby Roms. I put the link in the description. Uh, it's a great place to get Roms burned. And to get these out, you got to be very careful. I don't use any chip. I use a flathead screwdriver. I, I stick underneath and then twist. So let me go find one. Okay. So here are some options. I have this little. Uh, it's actually like a nail remover. You can stick under and flip up or this real tiny screwdriver works really good I don't know if I'll get this on camera or not but I stick it underneath there and lift up slightly and then I go do the other side and we're just going to work it back and forth until this chip pops out So I'm trying to go real slow to not bend any of these in case I have to put, uh, in case the replacements don't work and I have to put these back in. The other thing you got to remember is where the notches were. The notches usually all face the same direction. There's a little notch in the board. The notch goes up this way and this way. So we're going to put our replacement chips in. Hopefully uh, you remember which one goes where or you took a picture if not. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So just set the chip in. Don't push them in yet until you can verify that every pin, until you're sure every pin is in a hole. And push it down evenly and all the way. Going to use a good amount of pressure. Make sure the notch is pointing in the right direction. And then put the other one in. Okay, set it in. Don't push it down yet. Line it up. And then push down all the way. Keep these safe. Stick these in. To the uh, foam that the other chips just came out of 
in case you need to put them back in. And now we're going to put this board back together and plug it back in to the afterburner. Okay, I can finally put this game back together. It's been apart for months when I was, I've been working on this game. I can finally put the back on and we have a nice working afterburner here now. Going down. Thanks for watching and subscribe.